All right, here we go. We're going to start with Tai Chi Chi, 19 movements in one pose. Our first move is rocking motion. Enjoy your Qigong practice connected to Tai Chi Chuan. Sink it into the earth. Double ground it. Bird flaps its wings, sinking and rising. Circle the palms forward. Inhale back to lengthen. Last group of three. Sink it into the earth, grounding on globes of energy, like balls right here, energy. Shift it over towards your right. Prepare to lift, release the left foot forward, just the heel, around the platter. In chest, high water. Feel this circle coming back to your heart. Feel the inhale out and the release back to the back toes. Feel the glide through the center of the foot and then the release at the heel, the glide to the front of the foot, front foot, and the release of the toe. Last one. Let the foot come back. Inhale to release again. Shifting laterally towards your left to release the right. Preparing for around the platter right side.
Feel the unbending of the back leg and then the unbending of the front leg without either head, either leg locking. Let your mind get a little disconnected. It's actually good for us. Just feel it from within, the breath and the movement, and the mind is letting go. Last one. Around the platter comes to a graceful conclusion, and we release the energy into the earth. Turn the palms over and bring the energy towards the sky and our hearts, and then release it again. Shifting to the right, we prepare for our next movement around the platter variation. Picking up a ball of energy on your left, right in front of your left shoulder and dropping it center right opposite your heart and lungs on the exhale. Feel it at your energy C as you inhale here through the nostrils. Feel the belly open. Feel that energy moving towards your Ming Men or lower back. As you slowly exhale here and send the energy to the back foot and to the toes. Last one on your left. Around the platter variation, bring the left foot back. Inhale to ground, to release, to shift laterally towards your left, release your right leg. Picking up your platter, preparing to pick up a ball of energy with it and to drop its center in circularity. A big, important concept. While you're still moving from the center, you'll feel a little bit of shifting over to one side and shifting to the opposite to support the front leg and then the back leg with your energy. But you're still not following the circle completely. So I know we talked about this this week in one of the classes, but um, in some practices, you would follow the circle around. We're following the circle subtly from the inside. Without chasing it. So the gaze is always forward and then so of a half gaze, you're almost not seeing. But there is the sense of a drishti point, which we have in yoga, a point distantly, where we're moving that energy and moving it back. Feel that. As you move back, that point you're looking at Moves back. <laughs> Feel it. <laughs> One more. Good. Bring the foot back in. Inhale to release. And double ground it because we need to remember that we just finished the right side.
And now we prepare for bass drum, shifting right. Bring up your palms so that they're right outside your breasts or eight inches from each other. And we move down and up in a drum. And you are, in essence, the drum as the elbows come back with the buttocks or with the hips. Now bring that into the nostrils and the belly with your breath. Inner smile. Have fun. <laughs> That's good. Come towards me and then go back. Yes, use your full shift. Last one. Bring the foot back and sink it into the earth. Double ground it. But we still have the other side. So now we're gonna to shift towards your left, release the right, prepare your drum. And this time, think of it a little bit differently. Come around the rim as if you're touching it and it's velvet. And then exhale back on that same rim. That'll bring chi to your fingers. One of you said the other day that you actually feel the strongest chi right about here in bass drum. I usually feel it in Daughter in the Valley, but everyone's different. The chi is your intrinsic energy that you're cultivating Right now with the bass drum, which is the same on both sides as far as the hands. It's coming around a big circle and you essentially are the drum as the elbows move back to make that big O here. Last one. Bring the foot back in and come into your rider and horse position to release it. All the energy drops into the ground. Inhale up to the sky. Turn the palms over, sink it down towards the earth through a long exhale. And rest on globes of energy as we move into our next double moves. Daughter on the mountaintop, left side, followed by daughter in the valley. Left hand skims right next to the body here as the wrists cross, two circles interlocking. Did this come from generations of women? I don't know, I think it's symbolic myself. <laughs> Birth mothers, daughter on the mountaintop.
Your left hand and mine is close to the heart. For our own mothers. Bring the foot back in. Shift it down. Prepare for the other side of daughter on the mountaintop by shifting into your left foot. Right heel's pretty free now. Let it go. Left hand still close to the heart. Maybe this is the child within all of us. I like to think of it that way. Two more. Bring that foot back, sink it into the earth, all that energy that you're cultivating of the chi. And this time bring the energy towards your head. And then down through your heart and back to your abdomen and feel it rest here. Daughter in the valley starts the next move, which is the companion to daughter on the mountaintop. So first drop down and then come over here. Palms are up this time, just kind of like Buddha picks up the earth, but doesn't this time it's coming through the valley. Palms will be in polarity, facing each other, cultivating chi on the inhale. And then going over the same mountains you just went to in the last move. Two more. Last one. Draw the foot back. Prepare for your other side. <clears throat> Starting daughter on the valley on top of the mountains, shifting your weight towards the left to release the right heel and coming through the valley. Feel the glide in the center and then the release of the back heel. Glide and then feel the release of the toe. Slowly moving through this. Reaching the state of flow. Feel the flow of energy through the palms, through the fingers, through the elbows. 
through the shoulders, through the hips, the knees, and the ankles. While maintaining your alignment and feeling the release of the knees, never too much, but never too little. Everything in moderation. Two more. Daughter in the valley will come to a graceful conclusion. Sinking the energy into the earth. First inhaling it and then sending it back down. Carry the ball to the side as next. We'll move about five feet here, wherever you are, you might need to uh, make sure there's no furniture in the way. Winding up with your wide stance here, not too wide, but just right for you. Pick up your ball of energy, <clears throat> release your left heel. Carry the ball to the side. Winding up, finding your stance. This is your substantial. This will be your insubstantial leg in a second as it becomes yin. Send the energy across as the ball drops down and moves with the weight shift. One more, just for fun. Good. I went a little bit far on that. Now we're going to go back. We'll do three times three. Ready? Winding up. Releasing the heel and moving. Sinking, winding up, releasing the heel. And one more this way. And we'll do three this time going back. There's one. <laughs> Here's two. And here's three. And sink it through the earth. Double ground it.
These next two are really interesting because one, the one first one is marked as exhaling forward and the next one is inhaling forward because all the ones that are not marked were inhaling forward from Qigong principles. So this is an exhale forward because it's push pull or giving and receiving back energy to your heart. Exhaling, inhaling in a circle back to the heart. Keep the circle going. Circles never stop in the middle. So feel the circle even as you drop the fingers down and then turn them up here somewhere there. Or you can actually continue the circle like this and back. There's several ways I've seen and learned this myself. But it's a beautiful turning of the wrist, however you do it. Right there, or perhaps later. There. California tends to invent new ways, so I've seen it. I've seen it several times, depending on what year it is. <laughs> I think it's this kind of a year. The year of the rabbit. You can almost feel like you're moving up through the rabbit's fur here. And then turning the palms back to your heart. It's supposed to be a soft year. I like that concept. And come back to rest here, bringing the foot back. Shift the weight over towards your left foot. The head, right foot comes forward for push, pull, or giving and receiving energy. This is the other way to do it, is to shift there and feel the energy pulling back a little bit earlier, right here. But you can almost feel like you're um, being pushed forward and then pulled back. Last one. Wish pull comes to a graceful conclusion. Moving right away into the next companion move, once we do this double grounding here, bringing it to your heart and down to the earth. Pulling in the energy from the farthest star in the universe through the fingertips in a circle. Circularity, moving from the center, softness, continuity, and feeling it all from the inside out.
One more. This is a beautiful move. You can do your own visualization in here. What would you like from the universe this weekend? More kindness, generosity, peacefulness, all those good things that we're now practicing right here in community, lots more community. Other side. Bring that energy in through the fingertips. Last one. Inhale and sink it through the earth. Double ground it as we move into our taffies. We'll take a moment to hydrate here. Water only, please. We are now at um, the taffies, and uh, we've just finished pulling in the energy where the rubber band stops here. And the first one is pulling taffy, then there's three variations. Left hand under right elbow, left heel out to the side. Yin leg, yan leg. Shifting across, pull the energy, apart between the palms, that's the taffy. Change hands and feet. Notice the sinking and rising. Last one of basic taffy. Anchor taffy, anchoring your right leg while the left leg moves forward and the left hand comes under. Open the hips, sink, taffy, towards your left. The left hand underneath is the invite hand inviting you to that direction. Right foot moves forward, right hand is under. Open the hips again with that yin leg becoming yawn. 
and shift to the side. Inhale to release and exhale there. Left hand under. We keep switching. And left foot to the side. I'm sorry, right foot to the side. Left foot forward, left hand under. Always bringing the anchor foot back in on the side to side weight shift right here. And then that leg becomes the front leg. It's always switching. I love that part of this. And last one of anchor taffy, left foot forward, left hand under. Sending the energy towards your left. And then bringing your anchor to the left. For the last time. Double ground it. One more, I think these are very energetic, but we need to keep ourselves calm. <laughs> and our next one is circles taffy, with a lot of sinking and rising in it. Left hand under, pulling towards the left. Inhale to sink and start. Two more here. Last one coming up. Double ground it. We're moving next into perpetual motion taffy with heel step. One more grounding. Think of yourself as sleepwalking. The slowest exhale ever. And now we're going to move into perpetual motion taffy with heel step. So as you come over here, 
and the legs fully gets grounded here. Then you'll lift up this heel and drop the heel down towards the toes. And the other heel automatically wants to lift because this puts now yin. And then you bring the heel down and shift the opposite direction towards the toes. We won't be going that slowly, but this is a good way to learn the heel step because you can feel the energy move from the heel down finally to the toes. It's moving through the bubbling well or spring, which is just before the ball of the foot. So you'll feel it move over that point and then it moves to the other side. Okay. Yeah, I, lo I love this. This is something I'd love to do outside. With mud, it's really fun. Here we go. <laughs> Perpetual motion taffy. The heel step has the effect of really making you balance into that opposite foot. So I think it's a good idea for us. Some of us are seniors, not everyone, but when you get there, you want to really be able to balance as well as you can on one foot and then the other foot. So that's what the heel step teaches me. I hope it does for you too. And so we'll make this one the last one of perpetual motion taffy. And then we'll do two more just for fun. <laughs> Always ending up on the side that's home, which is over here next to the nine, six, 19 moves. And sinking. Double ground it. We're next moving into working the pulley, which is a cross body move. So your left hand will come forward, your left foot will come forward, and then you'll shift over that way, releasing. And possibly, if you can do it, if you have a carpet, swiveling the foot on the ball of the foot and back and on the heel of the foot in front so that you maintain your connection between hip, knee, and ankle. And notice how the front hand is the it's like push-pull, right? Here's the exhale. And the other hand, when it pulls back on that same side, is an inhale. The other hand is coming from behind is the partner of this front hand. But often they walk behind. Last one. Draw the foot back in. Inhale to ground it through the earth. And prepare for the other side. Your right hand will come forward from the heart area, heart and lungs area. Your right leg will come forward and then shift to bring you to a cross body move. And this is great to do together if we do, if I touch your shoulder and you touch mine. That way you can do a very small swivel and maybe even make the weight shift not so long in front and back. There you go, that's nice. Yes, good, 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 that looks great. It's really a giving and receiving move, I think. It's really cool. Uh, 
Last one now. Good. Working the pulley comes to a graceful conclusion. Double grounded. As we move into our finale, like it is in music, this is light at the top of the head, light at the temple. Your, even your heels are closer together now. In a V. Sinking, coming up to the crown of the head, which is the back of the skull. For your light, inhale here and exhale, sink and rise. Circle the palms forward. Six to nine times. Hold the energy. Sink and rise to let it go. Your light's going to go out into the community. Inhale it and then sink it into the earth. Send it back up towards the sky with your left hand close to the heart in the inhale. Down through the central meridian, out to be taken up by the temples. Because the most important move we have is light at the temple. Sinking and rising with thoughts, words, actions together. That's our temple. Circle the energy between the palms, even though they're far away from each other. Inhale it, sink and rise it. And let it go. Into the earth, back to our hearts as we come into our final joyous breath, and then just a couple more moves. Feet are a little bit farther apart now, possibly, but they're still in a V. Inhale and sink it all the way down to the earth. <clears throat> then up to the heart, come to the balls of the feet, and four times out on the exhale. Make it joyous, make some noise. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Try blowing it out. Try saying, ah. 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 Now just a simple nostril breath. You've moved through joy. Preparing for our next move. Slowly bring the energy down. Preparing for passing clouds. All things change. You can almost see the figure eight in this, can't you? It's not quite there, but it's the idea is there. Last one. Sink it into the earth. Double ground it. As we come to the six healing sounds. Left hand, left foot. Shh. 
right hand, right foot. Shh. Shh. Same thing. Last set, five trees. Five trees. Ravens flying upside down. Heel step. Figure eight. Infinity. Circling the palms, yin and yang, all the energies have come together as we come into cosmic consciousness pose. Left heel on right ankle bone. Big circle here where the left hand will come closer to the heart. Intertwine the fingers to bring them overhead with gratitude. And then with gratitude to each of us, to ourselves and to others, opening the palms in gratitude to you, everyone who's here <laughs> and not here. <laughs>